Welcome to Level Up Physics, the ultimate YouTube series for tackling challenging physics problems. Unravel unique solutions and broaden your physics understanding, one or two complex problems at a time. So what are you waiting for? Let's tackle now. Beautiful question again in front of all of you. So I would request each one of you to pause your video, try this solution and send it across V underscore VAP. If you have already not joined the telegram group, this is the telegram group where me and Pulke sir are there uh, talking to you all the time, motivating you and sharing a lot of problems like these on this channel. So I hope you have already tried this question. Now let me just uh, try to solve this question in a unique way. So the question says a particle is thrown from origin. Find the minimum velocity such that the particle passes through a point A comma B. Okay. So this is given in front of you. So how to solve this? Uh, this is a question which is very unstructured, not a very structured problem. But let me say the initial velocity is u and the angle at which it is thrown is theta. Okay, these two are unknown quantities. And this is how I will approach this problem. And what is given is some value of y is given that it passes through some known point y which is equal to b and x at a given point is a and it starts from origin so obviously these two are the points through which it passes we know the equation of the trajectory as y is equal to x tan theta minus g x square upon 2 u square cos square theta now here uh, at certain point a comma b y and x are known to you Whereas this theta and u are unknown to you. So we have this quadratic equation uh, in form of range. And what we'll try to do is we'll put a and b in this particular equation. So by substituting a and b, I will get b is equal to a tan theta minus g a square upon 2 u square cos square theta. Now, as I discussed earlier also, in one of the problems that how to use the quadratic equation. I know that this is variable cos theta and tan theta is variable or theta is variable. So we'll make a quadratic equation in uh, form of tan theta or cos theta. So let me just try to change this uh, b is equal to a tan theta minus g a square upon 2 u square and cos square can be written as second square theta and that will be 1 plus tan square theta. So now I will have this equation as g a square upon 2 u square and this is the beauty of this problem because it will actually help you solve this problem in a very very easier way. So it is very interesting to understand that this range or equation of range or equation of the path of the projectile can be actually written in two forms or two quadratic equation one in form of x when theta is known to you or in form of tan theta when x or y is known to you so here x and y are known so i will actually write the quadratic equation so it will be tan square theta i'm just rearranging everything g a square by 2 u square tan square theta minus uh, a tan theta so a tan of theta and uh, plus b and plus g a square by 2 u square okay so this is equal to zero and if a quadratic equation is zero and we know that if there are real roots because it is passing through a comma b so obviously this quadratic has a real root so discriminant of this quadratic equation will be greater than or equal to zero because the quadratic equation is passing through a certain point okay so this is very important and why we use quadratic equation in range or uh, in vertical motion when uh, the, there is an equation quadratic equation in form of t we use uh, the use of discriminant and if there are real roots discriminant is greater than or equal to zero so here the discriminant is b square which is this one a square minus 4ac 4 into g a square by 2 u square multiplied by b plus g a square by 2 u square 
and this is greater than or equal to zero. Now I am not going to solve this question further. You have to solve this question because now we have a quadratic in u. You can actually find the minimum u from here. But what I wanted to tell you in this particular question is that question can be made much much simpler if you actually use the quadratic equation, right? Because you can clearly see that uh, how to approach is the problem is we will write down unknowns. We'll write down the knowns. And then see exactly what can we do to solve this particular problem. Another way or another way of approaching is we can uh, differentiate in form of, uh, you know, uh, because we have to find the minimum u. So uh, du by d theta because u and theta are dependent to each other. And therefore, we'll, we can actually differentiate this equation in form of du by d theta and find the minimum u from there. Again, you can try both the approaches and let me know in the comment box that which approach is much simpler. The conventional calculus approach wherein you try to differentiate a problem and then solve it or this particular way wherein I have used a quadratic equation and then try to approach this problem. And what we'll do in our most of the problems that you have to solve it on your own. I will give you a hint and I will give you an approach and then you have to try it on your own. And if you are not able to solve, again, I am there available at uh, v underscore vap uh, uh, on Telegram. And there we can actually discuss the solutions or we can discuss the way you have approached the problem. Okay. So I hope you are enjoying this. Again, all the very best. See you soon in our next lecture or next with the next problem. And we'll discuss that problem again in detail. So I've already shared that on Telegram. Try it and we'll discuss it later. See you then again in our next class. All the very best with your physics problem. Physics is love. And clearly, if you start solving one or two problems on a daily basis, trust me, your physics will go on another level. So if you are preparing for Olympiad, if you are preparing for the toughest examination of the world, you are ready if you are actually solving one or two good challenging problems every day. All the best.